Hello everyone, welcome back to the Excellency Esports stream as we're continuing on our coverage of one of the greatest mid-league playoff series in summer 2021. The teams are close, the hype is real, and we are joined by our all-pro second team top laner, the one and only Stubby I got to start in game number five. What was going through your guys' minds as you headed into the final game? Um, well, we knew we had to change something for draft. So we said if they're, if they're going to give us a Kali, we just commit to a dive comp. Mm -hmm. But then the thing is, they didn't draft an ADC. So we knew later if we executed the dive properly and peeled uh, Zaya or Evil Zara at the same yeah. time, it would be pretty easy. Um, but... Unfortunately, uh, Bucky's top winner did DC for about two minutes, so that did let me catch up top. So yeah. I guess just DC diff for the top lane at least for those two levels. Yeah, I mean, I mean, honestly, you had a level lead up there because of the disconnect, but you were in top lane a lot pushing those waves, and Slim Kim did not want to respond to it. I got to go back a little bit. Got a note here: Blue side wins all five games red side not taking a single victory were you guys confident in blue side every game was it something that you wanted first pick what was it about blue side tonight that was just so damn strong honestly i don't even think the side mattered it was just it was just whoever won these stupid early dragon fights <laughs> and just like I, I don't know it was just like at the last game I just started calling off dragon fights because I said, who cares? It's air Drake. Just, just don't do it. So we picked our fights better towards game five, towards the end. And yeah, I think like just tunneling into dragon is fine. But when, when it's uh, what was it? Uh, air Drake, mm -hmm. you can just give up a few dragons. It's okay. Yeah. So you, you kind of just have to change your game plan during the game and just notice, you know, when you have to fight and when you don't have to fight. I don't think red side or blue side, really mattered it was just a nocturne in play that was i guess the, the prior pick of the series gotta love it i mean i honestly like call it like making apt adaptations on the fly is never easy for a team especially with some new players coming in but i gotta ask about one of your teammates next game five evil zara more than 10 cs a minute that is almost unheard of in mid-league it, this guy takes steroids before game five. That is an evil Zara I have never seen before, and I want to see it every time from here on out. Um, yeah, I mean, he's always been known to be uh, potent on his like CS capabilities. Mm -hmm. um, junglers are notorious for hating him for taking his camps. <laughs> um, but uh, I mean, if he, for me, I play tanks top. I play peel, peels top because I know the man in the bot lane can carry at the end of the day. So. The resources go to the right person at the end of the day. That's all I can say. That's on. That's that's really wholehearted. I love to hear it. You trust your AD carry, even though they might be getting to these pesky Drake <laughs> fights that you want no part of. Uh, love to hear it. The only other question I have for you before I let Mac take us away, Stubby, considering this was such a long game and such an exhausting series for you all, what? What were the comms like in between each game? Whether you're winning, losing, what was the confidence like? I want to hear, honestly, from both perspectives. After a win, after a loss, who was the one keeping your spirits high going into such a long series? Um, so I have to shout out Rice here, our, our support, and someone who calls a lot of plays. Rice is just a super... So Rice is so nice, man. He's so positive. And he always keeps our mentals in check, which... I think every team always needs that person. I was getting pretty frustrated there too because that Viego and Kled game, holy shit, I was gonna gank left and right. But he's like, it's fine, it's fine. You know, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, after losses, um, we'd kind of just recognize our mistakes and say, okay, how can we change draft? How can we change the game plan? And how can we adapt? But uh, full credit to Rice um, for being the, I guess, the nice, the nice one of the team and helping our mentals <laughs> definitely pull through. <laughs> so Stubby, one more question before we let you go. Looking forward next week's semifinals matchup against CB Rush. You guys were one of the only teams to take a game off of CB Rush. What are your thoughts headed into that series? Um, <clears throat> I think CB Rush plays a similar style to Bucky's where they just like to group up and fight. 
personally, I, I think Rutledge is one of the most overrated players in this league. Uh, maybe one of the worst laners I face in this league, definitely. So I don't really get the hype there. Um, his stats are skewed because he just face, faces bad players. Uh, I like even my opponent top today, Slim Kim, is much better than him. But uh, our ADC is better, our mid laner is better, I'm better, um, our support is better, and our jungler is better. So <laughs> I was wondering if, we, if you could leave anyone out of that list. No, no, no. <laughs> if we don't, if we don't take stupid fights, I think we win. And I am being confident right now, but I mean, you got you have to talk shit before the game starts because if you do it after, then that's just cringe. <laughs> Super yeah. cringe, totally cringe. Stubby, uh, do you have any shout outs for us uh, that you want to give out? Shout, uh, shout out to the Lotus Org for always being homies. Uh, everyone's supporting, out, supporting us out today. Shout out to our owner Skeet for always being a homie. I can Thank tell you there's a huge watch party in the Lotus <laughs> call right now that if you join, they're probably going nuts, man. Congrats for me. Thanks, guys. Thanks for casting, by the way. You guys always do a no great problem. job. Thank you so much for joining us, Stubby. What a series. Fever going to be moving on to face off against CB Rush next Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You won't want to miss it. That's going to do it for tonight's quarterfinal stream. And wow. Boy, it was a doozy, Net Crocs. Thank you all so much for tuning in, even sticking with us all the way through Game 5. Those on the East Coast like me and Net Crocs, it's a little late, but we make it work. We roll with the punches anytime for a huge midweight, heavyweight. Uh, you guys were punching out of your weight class, it looked like, in this series. Way to go to both teams giving us quite the show consistently in each game it was an absolute roller coaster and you fever earning their victory moving on to face off Jimmy. against cb rush good night to all don't forget to use am grind for all your coffee needs uh support us on patreon like follow us on twitter to keep up with all things excellency esports that's gonna do it bye guys